Hello everybody! I just got done recording that Minecraft video. Yeah, I'm still getting into the swing of things after a long series of technical difficulties I'm still going through. And I'm still somewhat sick. <coughs> Fortunately, I am getting some of my technical issues mostly sorted out, and... I can actually get through some stuff. Whatever. So. That uh, Minecraft video is actually being uploaded as we speak. So. Last time. Sebastian was being chased down because one Kappa was thinking rationally, having been traumatized by a previous incident. We all know what incident that was. So, that Kappa faked an injury, and so Nidri and some other random Kappa chased him into a cave where he will most likely be eaten by bears. So... Yes... So here we are, chapter 12 of currently 22. I think he's still making these things. My camera charger just came undone. So. <coughs> Sebastian had been searching around for, well, searching for around 30 minutes. 30 minutes but had yet to find an exit. How deep is this cave? It's getting harder to see anything. He stopped searching, sat up against the cave wall, and took out a bottle of water. I... I guess he had that. I... I'm not keeping track, though. Damn, I am really starting to feel the recoil of the adrenaline. I don't know if that's a thing, but okay. He drank some water. Man, the deeper I go in this cave, the hotter it gets. My instincts tell me that I should stop, but I have no other choice. Peace, comma, but to go forward. As soon as I feel good, I'll keep going. Y'all ready need your fix? You haven't even done one. Eh, forget it. <coughs> I'll stop with the Rena okay jokes for now. Anyways, Sebastian rested for a while until he regained, well, until he gained his strength back. He then got up and continued to look for an exit. Twenty more minutes passed and Sebastian was getting irritated. Okay, this is really stupid. I don't know why people find spelunking so fun. To be fair, most caves aren't usually that hot. And to be fair, some of us like the dark. So, yeah. At least my eyes are finally starting to get used to this darkness. Wait a minute, my eyes are not adjusting. It's just getting brighter. He then followed the light straight towards the end of the cave, reaching the light at the end of the tunnel. Huh. Well, reaching the light at the end of the tunnel. Huh. Did I die? <laughs> yes, Sebastian, welcome to hell of blazing fires. Anyways. When Sebastian had finally reached the end of the tunnel, what he saw amazed him. <coughs> what he saw before him was the former capital. 
an ancient city. It's the underground city. I never thought city can exist underground. Why would you think that? Sure, it's going to be difficult, but it has its advantages. It's basically like an open bunker. Yeah. If I remember correctly, there is an exit near the city that leads to the surface. Unless if that's the way you came. But we'll get to that bridge when we come to it. He then remembered more about this place. And this place used to be Gensokyo's version of hell. Okay, let's add to the counter of things that should really be making him question Christianity at this point. With plural hells. Or in Gensokyo's case, umpteen kajillion. So yeah, Sebastian took a deep breath. <coughs> But there is nothing to be afraid of. This is not hell anymore. As long as I don't get blamed for something stupid. Three, two, one! He then clutched his crucifix. And with God protecting me, I know no wandering evil spirit will cause me harm. That thing's made of metal, you know. I'm pretty sure this that it should melt in very soon. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, Sebastian almost reached the city, when an Oni passed by. Here we go. They both crossed paths and gave each other a quick glance and continued walking their own ways. I do not bother them, and they do not bother me. Cool. The Oni then thought, what a strange and brave human. How dare he walk by me. Later, Sebastian reached the city and started to feel tired. Even though I can't see the sky, it must be getting late. I want to stay here for long, but I have no choice but to stay the night. Or maybe it's day, and your internal clock is screwed up thanks to the adrenaline and stress of it all. And the tediousness of everything. Maybe there's an inn here. My money is worth a lot in this world. It would be nice to sleep in an actual bed like the one in Yukari's house. He looked around and saw a girl with green hair, green eyes, a black hat with a yellow bow around it, and a yellow buttoned-up shirt. Com uh, the other Satori, uh, uh, dressed with Green rose patterns and purple tubes that were connected to a sphere that looked like a closed eye. I think that's Koishi Komeiji. Right, the name was on the tip of my tongue. I just couldn't get it. Younger sister of Satori Komeiji. I don't remember that much about her, only that people seem to forget about her instantly. Who were you talking about? Something to do with her third eye being closed? Doesn't matter now. I might as well ask her for directions. <coughs> I don't think the book said she was dangerous. I think... I think if Satori or Koichi want you to remember, you will remember. <coughs> and I'm not sure how literature works with someone else's third eye. Okay. Sebastian walks up to Koichi. Excuse me. Everyone questioned why the odd-looking human was talking to thin air. Anyways, Koichi turned to see Sebastian. Huh? Are you talking to me? Yes, I was going to ask a question. I was going to ask a question. But if you're busy... No, I'm not busy. Besides, it's rare for a human... I ought to see a human in the underground. So ask away. Hi, I'm Flowey. Heh, <laughs> heh. Uh, I had to. Anyways. Okay, I was wondering if there was an inn of some sort in this city. Of course there is! It's two blocks down, across the street from the bar. Got it? Good. Well, goodbye then. She then walked behind him. Wait, I did not. Wait, how do you, how's he gonna remember the directions if they, he forgets her instantly? Anyways, 
As soon as Koichi left Sebastian's line of sight, he forgot about her. What? I somehow know where the in about the end, but how? Koichi heard what he said. Yep, just like everybody else. She then walked away slowly. Sebastian grabbed his hat to cover his eyes. No, I know. I, I was talking to someone, and I did not thank the person. Who was it? Koichi stopped and turned around. What kind of language is he speaking? English. Or did he not specify he was talking in Spanish? For all we know, he could have been talking in French. Bonjour. Anyways. I think I remember. It was Koichi? Did he just say my name? He can metaphorically put two and two together. That's it. It was her. Where is she? Sebastian turns around. There you are. I didn't get to thank you, so thank you. Who? Who are you? I go I did not introduce myself. My name is Sebastian Montes. Nice to meet you. How do you... How did you remember me? No one remembers me. Okay? Oh, well, at first I... Uh, I did forget about you, but I forced myself to remember. And it wasn't the more logical... I don't remember who I talked to... And there's someone who you forget instantly who lives here. Logically, those are connected. Situation. Uh, I... I have nowhere. Koichi hugged Sebastian with tears. And rise. All I wanted was someone, anyone, to remember me. Thank you. I'm pretty sure that's not our backstory, but whatever. Y you are welcome. Um, how long are you going to hug me? Just a little longer. Oh. Okay. <coughs> this feeling again. I can't show my emotions. I can't. Well, I don't think anyone would mind the sin of lust. <laughs> Anyways, after a while, Koichi let go. Of, let Sebastian go. Sorry. No, it's okay, Koichi. Wait, how do you know my name? Oh, I learned it from a book. A book? Are you from the outside world? Did you get gapped here? Is that why he looks so different? Yes, but please, I don't mean harm. I believe you. You're too kind to be like the others. Yes, that's how they all start out. Thank you. So, what brings you to the underground? I was just passing by when I got tired. Well, it's getting kinda late. Really? <laughs> I couldn't tell without any sky. Didn't you just say you could instinctively or into unintuitively or intuitively know it was getting late yes. I forgot that those above ground used the sky to tell time I guess yawn he didn't actually say it but I don't feel a yawn coming on just more coughing Anyways. <laughs> I guess you really are tired well I better let you go Yes, gracias. Thank you again. Thank you, too. Well, goodbye. Don't forget about me, alright? Of course. See you later. <coughs> they <coughs> both went their separate ways. Koichi looked back and saw Sebastian holding his hand up. This reassured her that he didn't forget. She walked away with a smile on his, her face. And everyone wondered why, everyone, why the weird-looking human was making a weird hand symbol to thin air. After walking for some time, Sebastian was about to reach the inn. Almost there. He then felt something grabbing on his shoulder. Hello, tiny human. Sebastian turned his head and saw a tall woman with long black hair, a large green bow on top of her head, and a long green dress, red eyes, and a buttoned-up shirt with a large red eye looking jewel above her chest. Crap, it's the Hellraven. It's is Hellryuji. Many which three would kill me for this. What does she want from... He then smiled. Well, he then smelled alcohol in her breath. Hello, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Shortly after, Sebastian would die from radiation poisoning. Or cancer. Whichever, kill, whichever comes first. Well, damn, she's drunk. She must have come from the bar. Might as well humor her. Um, hello, how are you? Good. 
Actually, Mini Witch 3 is technically canon in Diamond in the Rough. You can see him in the background during one of the final scenes. Fighting off fairies or whatever. It just uh, had a little too much sake. <coughs> <coughs> and I feel a little tired. Can you take me home? I can't leave her alone in this state. I recall she lives in a mansion, but I don't see I see one anywhere. Okay, I will take you home. Which way do you live? I live... And she just falls asleep. Utuso fell asleep on Sebastian's back. Well, shit. I honestly thought it would be Yugi. But, yeah. What should I do now? I guess I could take her to the inn with me. Picked her up on his back and carried her to the inn. On his way to the inn, Sebastian had something on his mind. Her breasts are pressing up against my back. I never imagined that breasts would be so soft. No, no. Do not think about that. Just keep going. Come on. Mini Witch 3 isn't here. <laughs> he finally reached the inn. There was an Oni with... <coughs> brown hair at the desk. Okay, no more costume porn, I guess. Sebastian asked for a room for them both. The Oni didn't ask about the woman on his back, but if he had money. I'm pretty sure you could have just asked, and, uh, hey, <coughs> you mind letting Satori know who, uh, the Tusso's here, and passed out drunk. He only had to pay a dollar to stay the night. Stay for the night. Grabbing the keys, he continued to carry Utuso to the room. They got to the room, surprisingly, and Sebastian laid Utuso on the bed. This is the only bed in the room. Oh, well, there is. <coughs> this is the only bed in the room. There is room for me to sleep in the bed as well. No, I shouldn't. I'll sleep on the ground. I'm used to it. Sebastian covered a chisel in a blanket and grabbed a pillow for himself. He then lay on the ground. Here I thought things would, be, would get worse. It seems I'm finally safe now. But I wanted to sleep in the bed, sorry. Oh well. He closed his eyes and began to fall asleep. Again, he's probably going to die of radiation poisoning sleeping next to her. Considering he doesn't have any powers, but still. Well, this is at least less painful than... The, uh, last... Than, uh, the reading of My Immortal... Or, reaction to it, I did. <coughs> so... Yeah, this actually did turn out very well, uh... So, <clears throat> I can't wait to see what comes next. Most likely, Orin finds the room, opens the door somehow, gets it to his hoe, and uh, does whatever. Thanks, Sebastian, and probably doesn't slice his throat open. Or whatever. But, yeah. I'll let you go from my grasp. So, I'll see you all in the next video.